All right, so we're in the car. Um, what we're gonna do is just run through a few of the basics first that a lot of you will probably know, but we'll run through it anyway, just to make sure everyone is on the same page. Your stop start won't work properly, or it won't work if your seat belt or the driver's seat belt is not engaged. So first things first is to do your seat belt up. Make sure that that's clicked in and it's on. Um, next thing to do is to check that your air con or your climate control, you wanna turn that completely off as well for this so that if it, if the car thinks, oh, you, it needs to get up to temperature or, or whatever, so it's gonna prioritize the comfort first. So turn off your air con, turn off your heating, um, turn off anything that, that's not really ne like necessary. So I would turn off my heated seats and um, what else is there? Yeah, that's about it. Next thing is to try and get the car up to temperature. So when it's 80, 90 degrees or whatever, so give it a good run. Um, this is gonna depend, a lot of people are gonna be hit. I was hit as well when I started noticing it is during the winter. So when the temperature starts to get into the zeros, um, I found that with a weak battery, anything below like 10, let's say 10 degrees, something like that, it would start to have an impact. Um, if it's cold, batteries don't like the cold. So it needs to be at like a nice ambient temperature for a battery to be basically to hold its charge. Anything that's too cold, too hot, it will start to lose its charge um, and won't hold on to it. Yes, science! So let's get the car up to temperature. And obviously as well, we need to make sure that the car or the battery has enough charge in it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off all of the um, climate control and everything and we're going to take the car for a, a nice long drive so we're going to take it on the a road or on a motorway and we're going to drive it for say about i don't know half an hour 45 minutes as long as you can bear to go on like a, just a random drive and we want to take it off of anything like uh, eco mode or uh maybe leave it in comfort or if you can put it up into sports where the car is going to keep a higher rev so we want to get as much power going into the battery as possible on our long drive so let's take it for a nice little drive now um, and see if we can get the uh, stop start light to turn green Okay, so I just took it for a nice spirited drive um, up and down the A road for about 20 minutes or so. Uh, my lights started off uh, being yellow, it stayed yellow most of the way. But just as I'm getting back, it's turned green and the stop start is activated. Console's off, uh, no climate control on, heated seat, seats are off, seat belts on. Um, and yeah, the stop start is working now. Um, I've just had my battery change. You can watch in my other video because I figured out that it was the battery that was weak. And the way I figured that out is that the stop start would come on, but it would only be brief. So it would do one stop start and then the light would turn yellow and it'll stay yellow for ages. And I'd have to do a really long drive for it to come back on. Yeah, the new battery sorted it out, but there's still occasions where even though you've got a, a new battery, sometimes the criteria are not met. The stop start won't work. So people just think that it's just gonna come on all the time. Well up to temperature, it's at 90 degrees. The outside temperature is 19.5. The light's off now, I've just taken off my seat belt and I'm parking up. So another thing to think about as well is whether you have a diesel or a petrol car. If you have a petrol, you don't need to worry about this. It won't affect you because you don't have a DPF. And if you've got a diesel, sometimes what might happen is that if your uh, DPF is um, needs regenerating, so a lot of cars will just do this in the background. But if you do a lot of short trips is what I used to do, a lot of just quick drive to work and then home and work and home every day. So it's just like a small amount of mileage, just about getting the car up 
to temperature, it's not really giving the car a chance to clean out that soot. So by taking your car on a nice, like long spirited drive, so for about, let's say 45 minutes or an hour if you can, to get the car up to temperature, to get the diesel particulate filter to really heat up because it's got to get really hot. I think I read or saw somewhere that it's got to get up to like three, 400 degrees Celsius before it can start burning away the soot. Yes, science! If the car knows that it needs to regen and it needs to clean the DPF, the stop start won't work because it needs to keep, it's just, if it keeps stopping and starting, it's just gonna let the soot build up, build up, build up, build up, and that's no good. The last thing you want is to have a DPF warning light come on because yeah, you're gonna spend a good maybe thousand, two thousand. It's gonna be very expensive, put it that way. So by taking your car on a like nice long spirited drive, it gives the car a chance to build up the temperature, clean the DPF, and then the car knows, okay, our, our DPF is clean. We don't need to worry. We can activate the stop start function if we, if we need to. Okay, so let's say that you've done everything you've checked all the criteria and it's all being met you you've taken it for a long drive and nothing then more than likely it's your battery that needs changing if you're seeing a yellow light not all cars will have this but if your stop start just staying yellow then it means it's working but the criteria hasn't been met and if the car's up to temperature seat belts on no climate controls on or whatever then it's more than likely the battery is just too low and the capa like the capacity is completely gone in the car and it's never going to get up to that right level that it, that it thinks it should have then yeah you're probably going to need a new battery yes science but if you do all the things um, in this video, then you will either be able to get it to, to start working again, or it will give you a better idea of, okay, well, it kind of works because after doing these things, it might come back on again. But the way you can tell if your battery's weak is you might just get one stop start out of it or a couple. It won't like, it'll stop, you'll sit in the traffic and then it'll turn itself back on not, without even pulling away. That will be because the car thinks, okay, the battery levels dropped too low, turn the car back on, we don't want to run out of power. Um, and that will probably tell you that, yeah, the battery's just too low. Nine times out of 10, it is usually the battery's just too low.